my name is Teresa and it's been a while since I've shown you any of the home improvements that we've done. So today I'm going to show you what we did in one of our guest rooms. So this room was so difficult to do. Um, probably for me, it was difficult because they had put like some kind of a border. That was difficult to get rid of. There was two-tone color. One was really super dark. When we moved in, this one room was really where we stored a lot of the boxes. I had to go through all of the boxes and then I had to paint. So one of the first things that I painted was the closet doors. So there's a window, so it's a super huge window for a small room and a lot of light comes in during the day and it's so beautiful. I really wanted to feel light and bright. So the color that I chose was this really light blue. In a main bedroom, there were some sconce and I really didn't want to use it. So oh, I put it here because there weren't really any kind of light sources. So I put the sconce on either side of the bed and I didn't know what to do with the headboard. So I just put this really light sheer curtains just to make it feel kind of beachy. For the window, I used a semi sheer curtain so now it feels a lot brighter. I've got this. I wanted something really nice for my grandchildren. It's got their favorite characters. I've got their little stuffed animals and all this. So it's really a pleasant room. When you walk in, this is what you see. This is like one of my favorite rooms now. What I also did too is I wanted to save money, okay? So a lot of the projects that I'm doing is to save money. I'm trying to do it on a budget. And I could have added uh, blinds, but blinds can be expensive. And I really wanted the two inch blinds. So what I did instead was I bought these darkening curtains and they're supposed to be for French doors. It was so easy to attach. They give you this Velcro and you attach it. Tear the Velcro. Now you have privacy. Even though these are blackening curtains, it doesn't really block out all of the light. Um, most of it, but not all of it. So it still feels really airy and bright, even with the darkening curtains down. And I said that this was a small room, but this is actually a king size bed. There's room on the side of the bed, room in the front of the bed. From this angle, people wake up and this is what they see. It's very pleasant. I love this room and it was a lot of work. It was kind of like one of those things that I really dreaded having to do. So I slowly worked on it, made a little bit of progress here and there until finally it was done. I love what happened. I love what, how it turned out. And I can't wait for people to be able to come and enjoy it. That's it for my own improvement for this, this time. And we're continuing to work on different parts of the house. The biggest project that we have is the kitchen. There's so many things that we have to do there. I mean, we're, you know, I have to paint the cabinets. We're removing one of the walls. We're removing the huge closet. There's this huge utility closet in the middle of the kitchen, which looks so weird. We're trying to make the kitchen look like one big kitchen. We've also done updates to the living room and the other guest bedroom, the main bedroom. So there's all these different rooms that we're still working on. I'm looking forward to being able to share that with you.
meantime, if you haven't done it already, please subscribe to my channel. Hope you enjoyed seeing what we've done and stay tuned. God bless you.